Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Planet Nomads. Uh, if things look a little different around here, that's because they are. I've been trying to reduce the lag around here, and it has improved. Uh, the things I've done is I planted the helicopter, because every time I loaded up the save file, this thing started flipping out and going all over the place. So we're just going to leave that grounded for now. I took the monument off the power grid, because uh, someone had mentioned that uh, technically these power connections create... I'll call them structures, structure files or whatever. So having all this connected all the way up to the monument was creating a 500 meter long structure. structure. So that was causing some of the lag, uh, but I decided to do a test and I took the display out and that was it. So unfortunately, because of the fact that I still want to build some stuff around here and not having to be all over the planet building things, I'd like to... I decided just to get rid of it. You know, it's a good idea. I might feel a use for it down the road. But I have an idea today, actually, before I start getting into that. Uh, I was thinking about the tank there. I have thought of different ideas for, like, an auto-loading setup. And I don't know if it would really be worth, worth it. Like, the best thing I could really think of is, like, a couple of rows of uh, wheel bearings going up either side. So you have this big, giant, bulky black thing on the back end of this end of that thing and it just would look ugly and besides it only takes a few seconds to load it all i have to do is take that top rail out and get right in there um yeah and i don't know if it's still on the map oh i didn't shoot but i don't know if i mentioned it but i actually fired a projectile out of the tank there and when i had a friend over just to see how far it would go after two kilometers the beacon disappeared i thought it didn't draw i loaded it up on the map I shot, I'm here, and the the rail actually landed right about here. I'm on the full-size planet, so I'm going to say that was a good f four, five, maybe six kilometers that tank shot that thing. And that's getting nighttime, too. But I want to start revisiting a couple of projects. You know, my uh, experience with this game has greatly improved, and I know how to work around things, how to do things right. And one of the things I want to revisit is the gyro, or the orbitron, or whatever its actual name is because I know what I did wrong with that uh, what I did wrong is and I'll show you the picture right now is I had the three rings if you don't know what this is each one of those rings is supposed to rotate on its own axis you can see the the boxes that's where the hover pad spinners as I call them are so it rotates on three different axes uh, as you can see by the jacks I think that's what threw it off because even though I was connecting the rotational plates to those blocks I guess when I had to place the jack it created a new main connection so when I took the jack out it decided okay well that doesn't exist anymore so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do it again but this time I'm going to make sure to plant each ring individually right into the ground and then hopefully we shouldn't have any problems because I did that with the tank and I don't have any problems with that. I got it sitting on a rotational plate and on top of a hinge and still no problems. But I'm thinking about building it right up here. You know, we're still in range of the monument. I want to be able to be able to look over everything while we're spinning around crazily. But anyways, uh, let us begin.
All right, there she is. And so far, things are looking good. Now, doing stuff like this is actually quite difficult. You probably saw me having a couple of tr problems at this end here. And I can actually show you what's going up on, going on up here. Now, as you notice, there's a break in the texture. And the reason is, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but you can actually see a little gap here. What happens is, when I was building up here and I had the rotating plate and I placed a block on, it's not going to connect to anything else, no matter what. So what you have to do is, when you're in a situation like this, you have to work you have to work around these things. And so what, you, what I was doing is, I was entrapping it. And what I've learned with these rotating plates, if you're fast enough and you can place the the rotating plate down and a couple of blocks down like shortly after within a second or so that usually you can manage to box it in I had a hell of a time dealing with that sm that small scale that I did that uh, that length scale but now for the moment of truth did planting it solve my problems we're gonna find out right here I'm gonna take this one out first ooh that looks promising. Okay, so let me clean this out. Make sure we have enough room for this. Because I remember the last time I took this thing apart, the rings just dropped out. That's good. So now let's get this one. Go on the back here. I'm feeling good about this. So. It's rotating. Oh. Oh, the developers have got to see this one. Uh, I have them set to grounded, so they're not actually on the hover mode, right? Uh, actually, not actually creating the force right now. But, yeah, this is going to be it. I hope that's just because it was the force and not it's not top heavy so shall we go for a ride we're gonna do some first person we're gonna do some third person we're gonna do a third person first uh, if you get dizzy easy if you suffer from motion sickness you might not want to watch this because I don't know what's gonna happen so here we go three two one And away we go. This one's stuck here, though. Yeah, I might have to nudge it. All right. Yeah, we need to get that third axis going. And then when I get out, it should stop automatically. Let's see, I got to get that middle ring going. It's hit that dead point. The other two started moving. It's not like it's attached to anything. It's just, it's in a dead zone. So maybe I could be brave enough and get in here. <laughs> and see if we just give us a little bit of a bump. Actually, I know it'll do it. Let's place another switchboard on it. I was going to place another switchboard on the other side there. Uh, may as well, because that actually would balance out the weight, which could be why it started spinning right away. All right, now to get this on here without disabling hover mode. Uh, what I could do, if this causes a bit of an issue, and this is not easy to do, thank God I've played space survival games, so I'm used to... Okay, that didn't get it going. So what I think I might have to do is load up the save file, rebalance it, see if I can actually get this thing rotating, because it's not like it's stuck on anything. I know one way to do it. Does not ro want to rotate. Oh, I wonder if it's these blocks. wonder if it's touching there somehow. Because I was having uh, connection issues. Or snapping issues. 
It's a good thing I made a backup, so because <laughs> usually doing stuff like this is uh, it's not the smartest thing in the world. And that's when things tend to go wrong. Oh, it started moving. I think it did. Oh, come on. I just want that one to turn. <laughs> uh, it's just no fun. All right, let's move. let me see what I can do. Okay, I found the problem. I didn't realize, uh, as I was showing you up top there, there was actually a block here that had a different texture, or the texture was was different than the rest of it, like just out of a place, and apparently that was actually snapped to the hover pad, and that's what was holding it. So let me go ahead and fill this in quickly. I had uh, I was taking both sides off because I knew something was sticking somewhere, but I couldn't figure it out. And as you can see, I put a post on it to at least get it to move, so it wasn't actually in a dead zone. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That snapping. Okay. Nine more blocks. Nope. Twelve more blocks. And then we go for a spin. A real spin this time. Oh. And I hit that hover pad again. If it happens and you build too fast, you place blocks where you don't want them. That's how I get the Minecraft blocks sometimes. And I think next time I end, accidentally do that, have a block floating off a corner, I should actually try to build off of it and see if I can actually get a floating base. All right, so now we are good. We are definitely good. So we'll take that off. Okay, and then we take this one out that is good and now this oh yeah is that thing oh oh yeah I forgot to take this out that's why it stopped turning I was about to say who built this crooked then I realized it's supposed to look like that alright one, two, three, four. All right, let's go for a ride. A real ride. There we go. So now all three are spinning. If it wasn't so laggy, this would be really great but still that's pretty awesome all right take a few screenshots while we're on the go here all right there we go another successful build uh, the next one we're going to be re revisiting is that spider these air blades are definitely going to help it uh, it might try to make it a little, look a little bit better but anyways that's going to be it for this episode well Jeez, it hit me. <laughs> yeah, uh, thank you all. Uh, that's, good. That's, that's it for this episode. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you next time in the lab. Later. <laughs>